Gavin, the, uh, the World Cup course today, uh, uh, wh what do you think of the course and how do you think the riders are handling it? Uh, again, I think it's uh, a fabulous course built by Graham Watts. Uh, Graham, of course, is also one of our selectors, so he has just come back from Europe uh, after sorting out our, uh, our jumping team for, for London and uh, he's come back with a uh, few fresh ideas of all the different distances uh, and I think he's put some of that into practice here today uh, which I think is fantastic. Uh, look we haven't had a clean round yet uh, but that's not the end of the earth and I think even the riders appreciate uh, what Graham's done and uh, it's a little bit like I mentioned with the young riders it is our job to produce our riders for the next step, which is Europe, and so they need to be able to handle this kind of thing, but uh, I think it's been great. And uh, Gavin, you rode at the uh, Olympics in Sydney. How does this course compare with what you rode at Sydney? Um, a little bit smaller than, than Sydney, but obviously the, the Olympic Games is the pinnacle of show jumping. and It doesn't ever get any bigger than that, so you would like to hope that our World Cups aren't quite to that, to that level. And uh, so this is a, a bit of a challenge today for the riders and uh, hopefully we're going to get a good result in this next round. Do you think the horses will handle the course better in the second round? I do. I think the fact that they've been around that round already the first time, uh, the course is slightly different this time. He's just uh, left a couple of jumps out so there's not quite as many jumps. Opened it a little bit uh, and I think they'll benefit from the first round. And I, I'll expect to see two or three clean rounds in the next round so uh, look forward to it. Well, I hope you're right, and thank you very much for talking to Top Horse today. Thank you.